All right. We are this is this is the beginning of every live stream I've ever seen where people are not sure if it's actually happening or not. I'm pretty sure we're live. Uh, I don't believe this is going to be an enormously popular situation, so I'm not ex I'm not anticipating a, a huge swath of people uh, swath swath a, a whole group of people coming in um, to bombard the chat or anything. But um, I'm gonna put this up on my personal channel. Uh, excuse the noises. I'm outside Northern California, so there's there's like uh, people doing yard work and peacocks stressing out in the background and birds and shit. So excuse all that noise. But um, yeah. So as I was saying, this is going to be on my personal channel. I'm gonna leave this up for future reference and that sort of thing uh, here on Super Stop Gap. I I know this is probably um, not a a channel people are familiar with me being on a lot of the time it's it's not like overly promoted i don't necessarily do um <laughs> i don't necessarily do a lot of uh i don't know i don't advertise this sort of thing a whole bunch but this channel is run by me and and my best friend chase and in the past we did a lot of um very uh unwatched let's plays and that sort of thing when that was when that was uh fresh and uh actually when it was just past fresh and and now that, that boy's cutting down a tree next door um and then you know recently we've been kind of moving into the realm of uh podcasts situations but the, pro the problem with podcasts these days is everybody in their mid-20s has one and they just kind of necessarily don't they don't necessarily talk about anything substantial or in general um and i think we kind of in a lot of ways have fallen into that category mostly just it's mostly just a way to um i don't know express ourselves and keep keep busy um with the people who may or may not be checking in on us and that sort of thing so me and chase have just kind of used the um the podcast angle as a, as a way to um just stay creative and keep keep uh, updated with each other. Um, but moving forward, we're going to try and get a little more organized um, with with what we're talking about and and what we're um, what we're experiencing and stuff. And I, I think I want to we want to do more audience input for that. But until we figure out what the exact format for the Super Stopgap podcast is, we're 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 going to take a little hiatus. And one of the big contributing reasons for that has been, first of all, the inconsistently inconsistency that we have had has been due to a, a, just a life. Like there's been a lot of really big stuff that's been happening and a lot of very consistently not big stuff that's been keeping us from actually accomplishing things. And um, so we don't want to half-ass it. We don't want to talk about nothing and, and um, you know, only go for 20 minutes at a time or something. We're really, really excited about podcasts like uh like we had last week and what we had with uh gus johnson eddie burback and gus and mimi and you know we want to sit down and um be more focused about how we're presenting stuff which i think can be a big part of sorry the computer is going to be bouncing around and making a lot of sound i'm sure but not the most uh clean arrangement also hi everybody in the chat all, all four of you or whoever um yeah that's that's been a big problem for me as far as um, I don't know. It's been one of the issues I've had with, say, the the Sugar Pine Seven podcast. Uh, I, you know, I love it. It's it's just that there isn't a lot of focus, which I think is kind of the brand of Sugar Pine in a lot of ways. But there isn't a lot of purpose behind what's being talked about, other than hey, it's us. Here we are, um, which is fine. But I think that for us, we want to try and find. We <laughs> want to try. I love that everybody's just saying hi. Um, in the chat, but yeah, we want to, we want to try and find a target for us to hit when we get into the podcast down the road. So we're going to take a hiatus and a big contributing factor to that is, uh, the fact that me and Mimi are now officially producers of sugar pine seven, um, in title. I mean, like we have always kind of produced for sugar pine, but now it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's an actual, um, you know, full-time gig basically. Um, so what we're doing is 
<laughs> so I'm getting distracted by hi. Hi, everybody in the chat. Keep if you have any questions or anything, real quick, sidebar. If you have any questions or any anything you would like to voice to me about Sugar Pine or anything about me or whatever, and just in general, feel free to drop it in the chat. I'll be checking you guys out. But yeah, like I was saying, me and Mimi are um, officially the pro the on site producers for Sugar Pine Seven now. And um, so we'll be keeping really close tabs on what uh, what you guys want. If you're Sugar Pine fans, we're going to be really keeping our ear to the ground um, for how things are perceived because we're we're trying to we're trying to turn the turn the channel around. And starting season four, um, things are really going to be shifting. And there's uh, this was touched upon quite a bit in the sugar pine, the last uh, sugar pine podcast. Um, but we're, we're going to really kind of button down and, and make sure that things are a little more organized um, there. And that just requires a lot of focus. So uh, I know that the, our, the stopgap podcast wasn't necessarily the most uh, viewed thing, but you know, if people are going to start paying attention to it, we want to make sure that it is worth watching and um, is, is, has has a lot of purpose so yes yeah i mean that's kind of the bulk of what i wanted to talk about this isn't the most uh the most organized thing in the world but um hi i'm, I'm looking at the comments now <laughs> this is gonna be the rest of my life the rest of my life is just going to be when i when i first got on the uh, sugar pine my mom was she would call me and say oh my god is that famous actor james on that's gonna be the rest of my life anytime i do anything it's going to be the comment section right below it I'm very grateful for that, but it still it cracks me up. Um, yes. Yeah, so in the meantime, I know I missed the beard. We'll get it back. I'm working on it. We had, I had to, that's the problem. That's the problem with the industry we're in. So I'm, we're, I'm still an actor. Uh, it's just that um, I'm focusing more on producing now and, and there's a lot more stuff. Uh, there's a, there's a lot more stuff that I've had to focus on. So with, with acting kind of, being in the background, it, it, it dictates how I look most of the time. I really wanted to keep the beard, but they they had me shave it because I was going out for like a 17-year-old or something like that, which I have no idea why I'm still uh, still auditioning for that sort of situation. But um, there, who did the sun? Um, there's, uh, there's really not much more to say. There's uh, going to be a lot of stuff on my personal channel, which I'm sure a lot of you didn't even know existed either, but... If you go to, I think the URL is still something that I put in there like back in 2008. It's a uh, Scooty Doot. I do not know why that's my URL, but check me out on my my personal YouTube channel. Uh, I had a, a series on there where people would purchase the opportunity for me to write a personal song. And, um, you know, I, I would post it online to be downloaded and that sort of thing. And I, I've taken a hiatus from that uh, at the end of last year. And I'm starting it back up right now. It takes a lot more focus than I think I had when I first began it. And I got a little um, stressed out. And so now I think I'm, I'm ready to get back into that, but balancing producing for sugar pine and um, you know, sitting down with chase uh, once a week to, to talk and all the other stuff in life. It, I, I, I don't want to half-ass a single thing that I'm up to. So check out sugar pine. That'll be our main focus. And then I'm going to try and bring those songs back and really uh, finish my backlog. If anyone here has bought a song, um, I'm so sorry. I know that it's, it's frustrating how long it's been. Uh, but I promise I'm getting back to you in the next uh, couple months here. I'm going to really sit down and, and put those things out. There's just been a lot going on in our personal lives that I think has, has been, it's been difficult to do a lot of, uh, creative stuff in the middle of that. Um, but the oof, this computer is bouncing, making sounds. I don't know what it sounds like on your guys' end, but I'm positive it's not good. My apologies. Um, speaking of personal channels, uh, Mimi is actually going to be starting her own. She <laughs> was debating heavily letting me talk about it. But um, yeah, uh, Mimi Torres, uh, my, my lovely girlfriend and co-producer on Sugar Pine is going to be doing um, her own YouTube channel. But we don't have it. She doesn't have a name yet. But I think it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. She's been she's been really interested in this sort of thing, and I think the more that she's gotten into the YouTube universe, the more that she's kind of had this like itch to do her own thing. And I think it's going to be a lot of. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of 
skincare stuff, but a lot of personality driven things. And I think she's totally good for it. So uh, I'll be sure to promote that sort of thing on the, the stopgap podcast and on the sugar pine podcast. Um, but yeah, hold on. I have to check the, the, the people are chatting here. For, oh, thank you. I'm what's, what's your name? And a N G uh, Matanja. I never know how to pronounce uh, YouTube screen names. Thank you. I, I appreciate you liking the music. There's, there's going to be more of it. I promise. I was just talking about this, but for people just checking in, if you have bought a song for me off of my personal website, listen to those fucking thing. There is, Peacocks just taking a shit in the back and screaming all over the place. Um, yeah, as I said a minute ago, if you're just checking in, if you have bought a song for me, I apologize. I'm getting back to those uh, very shortly and we'll hopefully have those uploaded in the next few weeks um, or be begin to upload those regularly in the next few weeks. Um, but uh, thank you, Sean Wade. We're going to be doing the Stopgap podcast um, more consistently, I promise. And it is going to be up on iTunes and SoundCloud and that sort of situation. We're going to make sure that it's actually a podcast instead of just something that's aimlessly tossed up um, onto uh, YouTube. And <laughs> Mimi does let me do things. And as for Sugar Pine 7 being on my resume, I don't know. On my producing resume, yeah. But I'd, I've always been conflicted about... Oh, hi, Ang. Ang? 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I sugar pine has always been kind of a weird thing to be associated with for me. And it's not because I'm necessarily embarrassed to be associated with sugar pine as, as an actor, but I've always had mixed feelings about it being like on my IMDB and it being a part of like the tail end of my Wikipedia information and stuff. When you Google me, um, it's confusing. I think that there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of uh, miscommunication between the, between the validity of the of YouTube and mainstream media. And I've always really resented the way that my industry has kind of perceived YouTubers. I really feel like YouTubers are some of the most passionate, hardworking people on the entire planet, much less in entertainment. And um, I've gotten a lot of sideways looks from, from representation about me being on YouTube, which I'm, I'm sure everybody's kind of like heard me talk about a little bit on the uh, sugar pine podcast but i don't know if i could make some kind of dent in the way that youtube is perceived um someday i would really love that just because I, I hate the um imbalance between new media and mainstream media i just think that there's so much validity in uh how youtubers create things and it sucks that it's kind of looked down on by folks in, in TV and film, which by the way is a failing industry in a lot of ways. Like the, the people do not know what they're doing over there. They're all kind of holding on to this old medium that I think was, was, um, it was always, it was always kind of a weird, weird abusive system in a lot of ways. And I, I've really grown to be kind of resentful of um, the lifestyle of being an actor. I love, I love performing, but being an actor has, uh, it's, it's, you really sacrifice a lot of your mental health and a lot of your, uh, your social health. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know. I really love the flexibility of, um, the flexibility and, and the, the creativity of YouTubers. And I really, I really enjoyed getting to know these people and, um, diving in with these, with this group more than I have. I've, I've ever really enjoyed doing stuff more in the mainstream. Um, oh, Connor OG just talked about how the official podcast said that they, they like, they liked me. I fucking love those guys. I, the, oh my God. Like I could talk for years about the official podcast boys. They are the, the coolest fucking guys. They are so sweet. Like, I feel like, um, I feel like they've had, their brand is kind of like crass and they really like to, uh, talk aggressively and, um, that's not a negative thing when I say that, by the way, it sounds like it is, but I think that they are just so unbelievably talented at understanding people. And that's something I don't think people really get when they listen to it. It's their, their, their um, understanding for how to, how to dictate an, a, a conversation with a guest is so next level. And especially cause there's like four of them, there's four dudes and they are so cued into how to speak within each other and to the person. I just fucking love those guys. Uh, <laughs> fucking Chase 
Chase is chiming in on the chat right now. Sorry, what the fuck, dude? You didn't, you didn't, I Snapchatted you forever ago trying to get you to fucking uh, tell me what to say. Um, well, hold on, I'm just now catching up on the comments. Yes, uh, Sean Wade, I have met Buckley. He is a very sweet, sweet boy. Um, let me see who, hey, Drew, uh, said us as YouTubers, SP7 is a great place to start. Thanks, man. Um, I, that's re I really appreciate that. Drew, Drew Turner is a buddy of mine who's in the chat right now. He's, uh, he has a, a great podcast called why this not that and um that's a really hard thing that's what i was talking about earlier with um podcasts i think people in their 20s will start a podcast but not really know exactly what to talk about um which is you know we we fall victim to that too but drew has made a very big effort to have more focus and it's a really creative angle so go go check out uh why this not that uh i think i believe that's on that's on uh, iTunes and Spotify and that sort of thing. So why this, not that, go check them out. Um, anyway, getting back to it, Connor OG, how would you describe Sugar Pine 7? I have trouble a lot when doing so and usually <laughs> says it's the office of YouTube. Um, also, no, I think Chase is inches away from kicking me off the channel, not the other way around. Um, the, the, I think I'm, a really big glaring problem that me and Mimi have, have kind of caught with uh, Sugar Pine is that is that that kind of amoebous nature of it where people don't really understand how to get involved to it. They don't really know how to attach themselves midway through the season and stuff. And um, I really believe in the content over there. I really think that, I mean, it's why, why I've been a part of it so deeply since the beginning. I mean, why I kept coming back to it is because I think that Sugar Pine is some of the most original and creative shit online. It's just, it's kind of created a, a strange, a strange um, uh, difficulty with it, where people who haven't have been haven't been a part of it since the beginning don't know how to get involved in it now, and people who are a part of it and want to share it don't understand how to do that with people, and. A lot of that has to do, I think, with just how odd it is. Um, and it does kind of feel very ADHD and uh, exhausting at times if you're not familiar with it, if your brain doesn't naturally work that way. That in itself, I think, is a difficult thing to reach into. But um, on top of that, and I think more importantly, is having these serialized episodes that are a constant storyline that works so well for like a Netflix or whatever. Um, and you can't just necessarily, yeah, John Chadwick says, just tell them to watch from the start. You can't really do that because there's like hundreds of episodes and nobody's really got that much time, uh, honestly. Um, and when you have a, a constant through line with this huge a library, it's like, what do you, nobody, if people aren't hooked from the very beginning, they don't have a lot of motivation to keep going through it. And I think some of our best stuff has been, you know, in the last, last um, six months, you just got to keep people hooked that long and it doesn't always work that way. So what's, what's this 5053. I just tell people to watch from the beginning. I also usually tell them to start with a video of Steven getting a makeover to kind of explain him to people. Yeah. I, I've, I've always said this. It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to, um, it's hard to sign on with the humor if that's not necessarily how you, how you perceive humor to begin with. And I think it's very modern. It's very our generation. And Connor OG, you are right on the fucking money. I brought this up in our last meeting. I, there, there absolutely needs to be a previously on Sugar Pine 7. We have talked about that a lot where you kind of, if we're doing storylines, they need to, you need to start the episode with all of the relevant information in the past. And I think one of our priorities going forward in the next season is going to be doing, um, uh, catch-up episodes that are bottled specifically to explain who the characters are, where they've come from, what they're doing down the road, you know, just, just kind of like character profiles. Who's Autumn? Uh, how'd she get involved? What, what has she done? You know, it's like there's, there's going to be a lot more shit to really kind of make things a little more accessible. And going into the summer, that's going to be super helpful because uh, honestly, I think that was one of the main things that helped Sugar Pond in the beginning was the timing of when the show began. Um, I think that's probably the main thing that, that, uh, started it all. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's going to be really helpful to provide context for new viewers. And that's a big part of doing more, you know, lifetime classic style shit. It's, it's just easier to 
grab onto something if the first time you're seeing it, the information's being delivered to you as if it's the first time it's being delivered at all. And um, yeah, so hopefully, and I know a lot of people are disappointed with the fact that we're losing, not losing, we're, we're toning down the, the serialized storyline stuff, but it's just because, you know, you need to, you need to give people a chance to appreciate what you're doing in a digestible way. So we'll be doing that a lot, a lot more going forward. And um, that's what me and Mimi are here to do. We're going to really bring a lot of um, new perspectives and ideas and stuff. And uh, that's, yeah, I see it was uh, 5053 once again says we, we need a Netflix deal. I think that that would be really helpful for, I don't know. I do not know how that would be perceived with, from the, you know, mainstream media. I think that there would have to be a lot of uh, retooling and I'm not sure that we could do the um, same thing that we're doing right now if we were to condense things into like a 13 episode thing. Um, but we are going to be more concise about our storytelling. Um, and that's what the, uh, and that's, and that's what next season is going to be a huge focus. I think, you know, like we're going to start slow and kind of build a ramp up over time where most of the content during the week is going to be typical, you know, bottled episodes where you can come in and, and watch, kid do something silly in somebody's backyard or whatever and then you know because that doesn't have an entry that doesn't have a mental entry fee you have a you have so much that you need to understand before getting into a sugar pine episode we're going to try and make sure that things are more contained and then once a week there's going to be that uh that sort of situation where they the storylines are going through multiple episodes and in those episodes we're going to have a kind of like what you missed on prior episodes um, situation. Um, so yeah, it's it's just a matter of of context and helping people to be introduced to things in a more digestible way. So me and Mimi are working hard on that and hopefully things just get, right now we're just trying to organize the office, um, uh, but we're being integrated more with um, uh, the Rooster Teeth family and we're very grateful for Bruce Green who has kind of been, kind of been our, our uh, main megaphone and uh, bringing things together and stuff and getting me and Mimi signed on as actual producers. But uh, yeah, moving forward for stopgap, we have a lot of, um, we're going to have some time. We're going to focus. We're going to figure out what we want, what you want. We're going to try and make it more consistent. Me uh, follow my channel. Um, just Google me. It'll come up. Uh, <laughs> and Mimi Torres is going to start her own channel very shortly. So, um, yeah, I think that's I think that's essentially everything. Also, happy Easter, everybody! This is an Easter weekend. We're in North uh, California right now, so which is uh, why we're in a weird environment. Not, not weird, beautiful environment. We're we're Mimi's parents' house. Um, and also, happy birthday to my mama. I don't know. I doubt she's watching, but it's my it's my mom's birthday today. Uh, I really I'm rambling at this point. I don't want to go too far into stuff. Uh, pay attention. Check out the. The Sugar Pine podcast that will be coming up next. I'm editing it at the moment. Um, hopefully, we'll not edit all these for much longer. But the uh, not this Sunday because we're, there's a week break. But not this Sunday. But next Sunday, there's going to be the Sugar Pine podcast, and it's featuring me and uh, John Redlinger, who plays Michael, and it directed The Woods. And you're very familiar with him if you've been watching Sugar Pine stuff. He's going to be on there. That conversation is it's fucking great, um, and we talk a lot about what it's like to be in the industry because John and I come from more conventional environments as far as, um, you know, the way things have been told in the past stories and shit. So yeah, I'm bumping the table, making sounds. Awesome. Uh, I haven't, I've been paying much attention to the chat. Let's take a look. Here we go. Awkward silence while I read things. Um, <laughs> Connor OG, what was, what was your senior quote? What was your senior quote that was from sugar Plan seven? Oh, my mom, <laughs> my mom is watching the chat right now. <laughs> Hi, mom. Happy birthday. I love you. We're going to call you in a minute and wish you a happy birthday proper. That's so funny. Um, uh, John Chadwick, sometimes I'll see a story-driven video get on trending and it makes me wonder what the new viewers are thinking. Yeah, man, it's just hard. It's hard to, it's like coming into dinner um, while people are eating dessert. It's like you, you feel like you missed out on so much 
stuff and it's like it doesn't matter if it's good sometimes because you just don't get it and it, it there just needs to be a more digestible way for people to understand um what's what's going on um ruby isn't ruby on some sort of streaming site other than the rt site uh crunchy roll yeah i think i think it's crunchy roll we're going to be involved more with rooster teeth and really try and uh, you know get more organized with them down the road too so um we're at, we're also we're, we'll be producing our own stuff through them and I don't, I don't know if we can talk about that but we're gonna be making a lot of cool stuff down the road and um i don't know i'm just i'm really excited for the future over there uh here we go hope it works i'm sure you and mimi will help knock uh, help sp7 knock it out of the park i hope so fingers crossed um also it's not our fault if it doesn't happen my battery's on my computer so i should go soon um also there's lunch in the house and mimi's waiting for me um is there something we as fans of sp7 can do to make it more accessible that is very sweet of you shane uh guncher um you know share it just share it out find your favorite videos and put them out there just get people familiar with it because the more people more it becomes a household name the less we have to explain to people what the hell it is uh, tom is lazy the second john is the perfect villain for the series ridiculous and sinister yeah, dude. Fucking John Redlinger is one of the most talented people I've ever met in my entire life, and we have been waiting for some opportunity to bring him in on the show, and I'm so fucking glad that he got to be this, like, ridiculous villain. It just sucks that when we're slowing down the serialized storyline-driven shit, um, we'll have to kind of figure out. We're, we're actually, we're in the process of working on the last three episodes of this season, and I am so fucking jazzed for how that stuff will will be it's so the story it's, it's very cool and it's not going to again it's not going to be the end of our story stuff we're just going to um we're going to focus up next season and, and make sure that it's more digestible it's going to be uh, a little slower as far as how many episodes there are but it's going to be i think it's going to be consistently interesting and i i'm so stoked for for john um to check that stuff out Chase, I got here late. What's the plan for Stopgap? I don't know, man. We just fucking uh, start start uploading videos to, to Pornhub, and hopefully that'll get us more followers from a weird part of the internet. Um, oh yeah, no plan is to, we're just gonna take a hiatus for those just coming in. We're taking a little hiatus from uh, from the podcast for a bit so that we can make things uh, you know a little more rock solid with with how they're presented and more consistent time wise and stuff, and um, so that me and Chase can kind of figure out how to organize getting a hold of each other in the midst of all of our complicated life things that we have going on. Um, everyone's saying happy birthday to my mom. Say every, everybody say happy birthday, Charlotte. Yay. Uh, quote was from the end of we won an award. What was, Oh, Oh, Steve's uh, conversation at the end of the stream. Easy, right? Right. If you love what you do, you'll never have to work a day in your life. Well, I disagree. You're going to have to work hard to succeed. I don't think that describes Steve. I don't think there's anything that could describe Steve any better. That, that boy's, Works too hard, and that's why me and Mimi are there <laughs> to try and try and uh, spread out the the work a little bit more for everybody. Um, back to our roots, yeah, Chase. Uh, season three going to be culminating the murder at the Rose Hotel. Steve has a ha habit of shooting his wad too soon. We, we 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 we're still working on that idea. That's that was that was murder at the Rose Hotel is was a long time ago. It'll it'll come back. Um, hopefully we're, we'll, we'll find some way to, but, but, you know, don't count on that being a consistent thing right now. Um, awesome. I, unless anybody's got any questions, I think we're going to button up here. I think, oh, Risa Pearson, I think it'll be good to not put out as many videos. Sugar Pine's incredible content production rate has become its own atrophy. New fans simply can't catch up. Oops. Can't catch up and keep up. Yes, that is so we're, we're going to focus up. It's going to be, I think it's going to be super cool. Less videos a week is going to mean it's going to be more digestible. It's going to be more consistently quality um you know it's not going to jump all over the place it's gonna be more planned out so that rooster teeth understands what the hell we're doing and our insurance company is going to know what we're doing and um that's paperwork that i got to deal with uh yeah um summarize mimi torres is starting a channel go check her out soon we'll we'll definitely follow us on twitter at jalen mick uh, j-a-l-l-e-n-m-c on twitter and instagram Follow Mimi, uh, uh, Mimi Can Voice um, is her Instagram and Twitter. She's going to be posting more content. Stopgap's going to hold off for a minute and come back with fiery, consistent, uh, fun content. It's going to be a more focused, you know, my internet face and pretend like I don't have problems because uh, that's that's how you that's how you <laughs> that's how you get to the position that a lot of YouTubers are in. I will not name names. Um, 
But uh, it will be one of each show a week. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, so the schedule for Sugar Pine down the road is, is going to be three lifestyle classic style videos. We're going to have the podcast. That's going to be consistent. And then we're going to have our serialized show. And that's going to be a thing. Anyway, my computer is dying. So um, that's, that's all we got for now, folks. Thank you for tuning in. This went a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, stay tuned for more shit um, down the road. It'll be good, good shit, though. Promise. Um, and yeah, thanks for thanks for joining in. Uh, happy Easter, happy birthday, Mama. Uh, and um, yeah, circle back. Love y'all.